If you have any interesting spooky stories from your genealogy research, please share them. I would love to hear them. I've got kind of one in my direct line um, from my McFarland side. I found in my research that my fourth great grandfather's youngest son, Andrew McFarland, his home is a museum and B&B &B now. I contacted the current owners of the B&B, &B, um, which ended up going out of business during COVID. So it's not technically still in business, but they still live there. And they talked about all of the ghost hunters that they have come and do TV specials and movies and readings on their house because they have a lot of unexplained things going on. They had ghost tours every year too, where people would come and spend a lot of money to tour the house on Halloween or stay there. A uh, house was built in 1792 and owned by McFarland family, my McFarland family, from 1850 to the 1990s, and they bought it from a McFarland. It is called the Larimer Mansion now. Um, they have had a lot of unexplainable things happen there, like they have a woman photographed in a window, and they believe it is this woman, Jenny McFarland, Andrew McFarland's second wife. Um, they've had images and paintings that move around and change and they are not able to explain it. And they believe that, that my third great grandfather's brother, Andrew McFarland haunts the basement. Uh, the owner refuses to even go into the basement because she gets such an uneasy feeling down there, whereas she doesn't hire up in the house anywhere else. So they actually have recordings of a voice saying, get out in the basement. So she was having some more ghost hunters come to do readings and I sent her a list of questions to ask Andrew because how cool would that be if there was some response? Um, again, I am sensible and logical and not superstitious, but it was still kind of fun. So particularly I wanted them to ask him what his mother's um, parents' names were because I've not been able to trace them. They would have come over from County Tyrone, Northern Ireland as well and they are just a brick wall of mine. But anyway, I'd love to hear your stories because it's always fun this time of year. Thanks.